The overall goal of this procedure is to print 3T3 fibroblasts onto a serum-coated surface. This is accomplished by first pre-adsorbing serum onto a tissue culture surface. The second step is to print a suspension of fibroblasts onto the surface using a continuous flow microspotter followed by incubation of the cells at 37 degrees Celsius for two hours. Next, printed cells, as well as cells seeded through standard cell culture, are stained with propidium iodide and visualized under an inverted microscope for comparison. Ultimately, fluorescence microscopy is used to assess cell viability, density, and morphology at relevant time points. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods like pin printing is that the printhead forms a seal over the surface allowing cells to be printed while submerged in cell media. While the submerged printing of cells is useful for screening new drug candidates for safety and efficacy, submerged printing in general is also useful for other applications. For example, we can analyze new drug candidates against tissue slices, or we can use it as a model for organ systems, for example, a liver perfusion model. Generally, individuals new to this method will struggle because during printer priming and cell printing, air cannot enter the lines or it can cause cell death. To begin, thaw NIH 3T3 cells for 2 to 3 minutes in a shaking water bath at 37 degrees Celsius. Resuspend the cells in 5 milliliters of complete media and centrifuge at 1500 Gs for 3 minutes. Remove the cell supernatant without disturbing the cell pellet. Then resuspend the cells in 5 milliliters of media and transfer 10 microliters of the cell suspension to a 0.5 milliliter microscope.